plenty of number jokes tonight. So we'll start off with the first one. Uh, I liked how I made it through my new higher training class. Uh, I'm directing traffic for pharmaceutical claims. Uh, uh, only six people out of 14 made it. I guess absenteeism was too much of a problem for some of them, including a fellow comic. And uh, during that one month, he gave me a lot of things, uh, like some of his food, and then uh, uh, the movie Purple Rain on DVD, and then, what was it, uh, uh, one of those Snoopy toys from McDonald's that uh, were out a year ago. And it's like, okay, I'll accept it. Uh, it just seemed weird uh, because I just hadn't seen anything like that before. People, somebody giving me all of that, uh, and yes, I knew well enough to say thank you. But it said that he didn't make it through the uh, first month. Uh, but uh, now this is where the fun starts. I hope I get put on payroll, but that's two more months. I'm still working for the agency, and I know uh, today was a tough day because I said I was essentially a beached whale for a few hours this morning because there were IT issues and I had to wait for people to fix them. And uh, the not much help desk uh, was going to be really slow about it, so thankfully somebody locally did it. And then, end of the day, uh, I said, well, I think this day is done. It was a lackluster day. And then I go to my car, and I, I turn on uh, the radio, and it's like, same old blood by uh, Selena Gomez. Yes, that works for me. I really rock out of that song. Because, yeah, sometimes you have to say, I've had enough, and that shit, it tears me up just like Selena does. Uh, so, yeah, that's the first number joke. Uh, then let's see. <laughs> Oh, yes, uh, he uh, spoke about uh, the Gettysburg Address and Chick-fil-A. So, uh, that's a good one, because <laughs> I know that when I uh, lived in suburban Chicago, I know I would uh, come back with my car with Illinois plates on to visit my dad in Iowa, and then he called me Mr. Fourscore in seven years ago, because, of course, on the license plates it says Land of Lincoln. And, of course, as a history major, I'm able to recite a decent amount of uh, the Gettysburg Address. Uh, and, uh, of course, I always like how it ends with that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. And I know that when I uh, uh, wrote a letter to the editor when I lived in suburban Chicago a year after 9-11, I referred to the Gettysburg Address because, uh, I mean, it's still just as relevant as it was back then in terms of, uh, I think it's been said before, uh, the price of freedom is eternal vigilance. I don't know who said that, but I'll have to look that up now. Uh, I don't believe that something is irrelevant just because it's old. I mean, uh, it's also true with Charlie Chaplin's final speech and uh, Great Dictator. All the things he said back in 1940 are still true. Like, our knowledge has made us cynical. Uh, and then the one about Chick-fil-A, I know that uh, some people have a problem with their uh, political beliefs. Uh, I, I don't hear anybody talk about how they're closed on Sunday. And it's like, it's not the only business I know of that's closed on Sunday. They still do plenty of uh, good business being open six days a week. They don't have to be open on Sunday. Uh, I grew up in Iowa, and there's a grocery store chain based in Iowa called Fairway. They're closed on Sunday, too, but they've still been around for a while. I mean, if it works for them to be open only six days a week, then hey, uh, let them do that. The thing I remember in my hometown was when they opened up, they said, we invite members of churches to park in our lot on Sunday because we're closed anyway. So yeah, it serves more than one purpose. Uh, let people live the way they want to live is how I say it. Uh, so yeah, there's the second number, Joseph the third. Uh, I had a birthday this month, and sometimes the loyalty programs send out plenty of emails related to that and helps I'll do more business with them. And the one that I... Uh, was willing to do this time was um, the loyalty card I have with the movie theater Egan. They uh, said free popcorn uh, during your birthday month. It's like, okay, there's a movie I want to see this weekend, so I'm going to Egan. So uh, I saw the thriller called Greta. Uh, it was all right. I really like thrillers, though, because uh, I like being challenged, and that includes movies. They keep me guessing when it's a thriller. Uh, so... Uh, I, the thing I was bummed about that was it was down to just one screening a day at that theater, so I guess uh, it's not the most popular movie out there. But hey, I do what I want, so uh, so what if it's not the most popular movie? I mean, I like documentaries, biographies. Those aren't the most popular movies either. But it works for me. Uh, and then, uh, yes, the last number two. Uh, 
I guess some people have had worse injuries this winter, but I saw it as a fairly big deal that uh, I ended up uh, falling on the ice on my way to Family Dollar to get an uh, 85 cent can of spaghetti. I skin my knee and it's like, okay, uh, when I get back home, I will just uh, take care of it. Uh, all, all I remember saying was, well, I, I remember, what, uh, it was hard to ignore where I fell. Uh, and it's like, yeah, that's going to leave a mark. And it's like, yeah, just get a Band-Aid on and I'm fine. Uh, I know well enough how to handle those things. But sometimes I'm still surprised when it happens. It's like, whoa. <laughs> I was trying to avoid the sidewalk because of the freeze and melt uh, cycle that has been happening because that's not always the safest place to walk. Sometimes it's safest to walk on the snow, but not that time. <laughs> uh, at least it didn't wreck my knee in terms of needing surgery or anything like that. Uh, but you never know what might happen. You gotta be careful. Uh, and then uh, the next one. Oh, karaoke. I do that for stage time all the time. and. Uh, I, I know one karaoke jockey, sometimes it gets really uh, cozy with me, like this weekend, she said you're next, and she ended up sitting next to me in the booth. It's like, okay, uh, but you have to get out if you want me to sing, because uh, you're right in front of me. Uh, I guess there are worse things than somebody liking me, but all I have to say about that is, uh, I'm just here to perform, don't shit where you eat. Well, that'll do it for me, thank you, been great. Yeah. Woo!